Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan, and today I forgot to turn my microphone on. I'm going to be doing a springy look. I'm talking to you right now about how it is snowing outside, and I'm tired of winter, and I'm ready for it to be spring. So I'm going to show you how to take my pretty much basic day look and amp it up just a little bit with some pink touches, a soft cut crease, and a little bit of a winged liner, and turn it into this beautiful look right here. First step to every eye look is going to be to prime those lids. I'm using my favorite primer from Smashbox. This is their 24 hour primer and I'm just applying it with my fingertips like always. This product especially is a little bit thick and needs to be warmed up with the touch of your fingers. The shadow palette that I'm working from today is the IT Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette. This is all matte and I'm starting with the shade Love which is a light pinky beige color perfect to set that primer and I'm going to take that all the way from the lash line to the brow bone with a big fluffy brush. To start sculpting the eye I'm going to grab the shade Soft Light which is a grayish tone and I'm going to be putting that into the socket line. I'm going to keep this rather high because this is our transition shade. And you can see me here kind of flicking this upward towards the temple and not bringing it down to the outer corner. To deepen that a little bit I'm grabbing the shade Mocha and I'm using that on a slightly smaller blending brush and I'm putting that further into the crease just a little bit lower than the soft light color and mimicking that same shade flicking it upwards towards the temple on the outer corner. Then I'm going back to my original fluffy brush and just blending those two colors together. Next I'm going to deepen that even further with the shade Java. This is showing up a little bit more red on camera than in real life. I'm going to grab that onto the very tips of a tiny brush and just put that right in to the socket line and then I'm going to make sure everything is nice and blended. Next I'm going to grab the shade Sheer Joy. This is the lightest color from the palette and I'm going to place that all over the mobile lid just to brighten that up and clean up that crease work and then I'm going to go ahead and highlight into the inner corners and on the brow bone with the only shimmer from this palette called Transforming Pearl. You can mix this with any shades or use it by itself as a highlight. Back to the shade Mocha and that smaller brush and I'm just placing this on the lower lash line, more on the outer two thirds and just a little bit on the inner and then I'm going to go back to my original fluffy brush and just fluff everything together. Now onto liner, I'm opting for a dark brown coal pencil here. You really want something that you can blend and smudge. And I'm taking this from the center of the top line close in at the lashes, really working it between the lashes. And then I'm going to thicken up right on that outer corner. And then I'm going to draw a small little wing. I don't want this to get crazy or huge. I'm just kind of placing the pencil where I want it, dragging it back into the eye, and then repeating the process until the wing is about as thick as I want it. And then I'm going to grab a small angled brush and just push that into the lashes and kind of extend the wing a little bit and just take the edge off and make everything look a little bit more smooth and blended. Since this look is for spring, I really wanted to brighten up that eye area and the best way to do that is with a nude liner on the waterline. This one is from NYX, it's one of their wonder pencils in the shade light. You can see here on the left side of the screen I have it on and on the right I don't and it makes such a big difference. Next I'm going to curl my lashes before moving on to a bit of mascara and for mascara today I'm using dark brown just like the liner. This is Definisil's Waterproof. This really helps to hold that curl. I'm pushing it right into the roots of the lashes and pulling it through. I really want the bulk of this at the root of the lashes and then um, just dragging it through and I'm also going to do the same on the lower lashes. For this look I wanted a bright bubblegum pink lip but I didn't want it to be a matte so I'm opting for a glossy liquid lipstick. This is from the drugstore, this is from a brand called Essence and I am just putting that on my lips. I actually really like how pigmented and shiny these are. To lightly correct and shape my lips, I'm using the NYX Lip Liner in the shade Peekaboo Neutral and I'm just going to run that around the edges of my lips. I'm doing it after the lipstick so that it's a little bit softer. Sticking with that pink trend, this is a blush from Bourjois called Ashes of Roses. I'm taking that on a very precise cheek brush and putting that right onto the apple of the cheek and dragging it up the cheekbone in sort of a C shape around the eye to give a subtle rosy glow. And then back to that transforming pearl shade from the palette, I'm going to use that on an eyeshadow blending brush and put that right onto the top of the cheekbones to give me some glow. And to finish everything off, I'm using a hydrating mist. This one from Lancome is super expensive. You could just use Fix Plus in its place. And that is the end. This is the finished look. I absolutely love the way this turned out. I normally don't like a cut crease on me, but the subtle version with the wing I think suits me just fine. 
And if you enjoyed this, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for another spring look that you would like to see on my channel. I'm definitely ready to film some more spring looks. And while you're down there, don't forget to open up my description box because I've linked every single product that I've talked about today down there for you to check out. You can also check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all at John John Talks. Click on my face if you're not already subscribed to my channel and you'd like to be here every Monday and Thursday for my new videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye.